welcome back to another video i believe you have seen this style before it is called a magazine or a baggy senator so i'll be taking you guys through the process of cutting this step by step so if you like the video make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe if you're yet to subscribe without further ado let's get straight into the video and make sure you subscribe if you're yet to subscribe again okay so in order to call this baggy senator outfit very first thing i'll be doing now is my chest measurement is 38 inches as you can see right there so in order to have that big wideness in which you want on the bodice usually i add between four inches to six inches so this one i'll be adding four inches depending on how big you want it to be so i'll be adding four inches that will be 38 plus four which is going to give me a total of 42. so now the major measurement of chest i'll be working with will be 42 inches for my body wideness is going to be 42 inches so whatever your chest is you're going to add four or six then you're going to divide that into four places so now 42 divided by four which will give me a total of 10.5 let me just fold the tape so that you guys can see i'll have 10.5 here so now i'm going to have an extra two inches for the inseam allowance which is going to be a total of 12.5 inches for my main chest measurement so now i'm going to add a half of an inch to that to make it a total of 13 inches all these are still part of an inseam allowance so that will be a total of 13 inches so i'll be folding this fabric into two and i'll be folding it by 13 inches because i'm still going to trim out the side i believe you guys can see that so i have 13 inches at that place so this is my main chest folding measurement you guys can see that so now the next thing i'm going to do now is the second measurement as you can see on the style that at the m it has a pipe right so the length of this is um 32 32 inches i'll be cutting i'll, I'll be having four at the m which is at the m of the outfit itself so this is the, the length is 32 i'll be using 32 for the length so now my length is 32 so i'm going to subtract the four inches that will be at the m which is going to be the pipe at the m of the outfit so 32 minus four inches which is going to be 28 inches i believe you guys can see that so i'll be making my, my length now is going to be 28 inches as you guys can see because i'll be cutting an external four inches for the piping on the m so now i'll mark 28 inches i believe you guys can see that so i'm just going to connect that together i'm going to connect the line together the two lines and i'm going to simply cut it out so this is my this is my major measurement for cutting out the front panel this is the front panel you guys can see that so i'm just going to cut it out in case you like the video so far make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're yet to subscribe to the channel hit the subscribe button that's it so let me just cut this out so that you guys can see in case you want to join our um private classes i'll put a link in the description below we have different classes on sev several outfits that we've made all the outfits are always cut and sewed step by step so we cut it and we sew it step by step so this is my front as you guys can see so i'm going to cut the back bodice also now so i want you guys to pay attention because there's a little bit of changes on the back side so you guys should just pay attention this the back will usually be longer than this one but also i fold this by 13 inches also i fold this at 13 inches as i said earlier 13 inches so now you know remember you have we have a length which is 32 then i minus 4 inches for that will give me 28 right that's that that was what i used to cut our uh, our front measurement right so in order to cut out the back panel now our 28 now we are going to add an extra four inches to that for the shoulder slant because we have to overlap the shoulder which will give us 32 inches back i believe you guys understand so later we're going to add our four inches piping on the m so i'll be marking 32 at this side now 32 I'm just going to mark 32 here now also mark 32 at this side 
I believe you guys can see that. So I'm going to connect it and also cut it out. So you guys should pay attention. The most important part of this style is just that the outfit is bogus, which is the baggy aspect of the of the trad, right? And the, the the other different part is the armhole area because the armhole is usually big. So I'm going to show you guys the formula to actually get that armhole also. And the sleeve, the sleeve is also very very big. That's the different body. The style is very swagger. Is it swag? What is swagger shit? It doesn't make sense that it's swag. But you have swag now. No mountain. Swagacious. Oh shit. Swag swagalicious. Okay. <laughs> swagalicious. Okay, so so far this is what we have. So this is the back. So now I'm just going to place my front on it, just like we're cutting in normal center outfits. But the armhole and the piping on the M and the um the 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 baggy aspect of the side is what make it a very fancy style. So I want you guys to pay attention. Just align the front. You can see that that side is longer than the other. So now the next thing I'll be doing now is I will be slanting my shoulder by three point five. can see that I'm just going to connect that and after connecting that I will simply cut it out you can see so after cutting it out I will still going to align this down part just going to take it backward just like this you can see that and i'm going to simply overlap the shoulder so that's where the calculation of the arm o comes in so let me just fold this by half of an inch i'm going to overlap the shoulder by half of an inch and i'm going to iron it down then we can cut our arm o and our neck and we can continue with the, with the cutting so after overlapping the shoulder the next thing i'm going to do now is you can see our length now is at 20 29 inches so if we cut our four inches extra that will be down we're going to still have our 32 back so we are going to join an half of an inch at the m so we are going to have our 32 back on our length of the outfit itself so i believe you guys understand how we arrived here so i'll be adding four inches at the m area so the next thing i'm going to do now is my shoulder my shoulder measurement so my shoulder is 17 inches 17 inches so i'm going to divide my 17 inches by 2 17 divided by 2 you can see that which is going to give me 8.5 it's an half 8.5 so the 8.5 now i'll be adding half of an inch to that so for the sewing allowance so it's going to be nine inches i'll be using nine inches I'm going to mark my nine inches here so i want you guys to pay attention here so for the arm o depth now which is where the formula comes in if i'm using a normal senator to cut my shoulder i'll be using my shoulder divided by two to cut out my arm o so because of the style i'm making my shoulder divided by two which is going to be 8.5 right 17 8.5 so i'm going to mark 8.5 here you guys can see that so to that 8.5 because we want the arm circumference to be bigger, the arm O circumference, so I'll be adding an extra 1.5 to that. I believe you guys can see that. I'll be adding an extra 1.5 because the arm O have to be bigger. It has to be bogus because of the style we are making. It's a baggy senator, right? So I'll be making, I'll be adding 1.5 inches to that. So now I'm going to cough out my arm O circumference. So you can just use a rough hand, like a straight, just a simple hand, or you can use an arm o cuff if you have an arm o cuff. I believe you guys can see that. So I'm just, I always lost my chalk. I was using a bigger chalk now, and I can't see it again. It's crazy. How did the chalk always disappear? So I'll just use this one. So just cuff the arm o like this. And I'm just going to so you, you can see because the sleeve has to be big that's why i'm our arm hole is quite big so you see what we have so far so i'm just going to cut that out you can see that 
So this is what the sleeve is going to look like. This is what the armhole is going to look like. You can see how big the armhole is. You can see that side is a little bit smaller. But don't forget, we're going to add an extension of 4 inches at that side. So it will be longer. So you shouldn't mind about that. So now here at this side, we have our 13 inches, which is our main bodice. And we'll be joining half of um, 2 inches at the side. So we are going to have our style. So the next thing I'll be doing now is going to be my neck. So in case you want to see the video of cutting formula for cutting a neck, I can't go through that now. So I'll be using 2.5 wideness and 4.5 depth. My, uh, my sleeve, uh, sorry, my neck is 16 inches, right? So I'm just going to cough it out and take the measurement. I'll put a link in the description below that will take you guys to the video on how to cut a neck Hole, which is a neck circumference and the formula to use i have several video on that so i have my 16 inches here and i'll be still be piping it so let me just cut out the neck now so i have a video on the formula to cut out the neck the neck um hole on the senator so just check the channel gallery so I'm just going to cut out the neck here. You guys can see that. You can see that. So you can see what we have. So in front of the design is something like a two inches plaquette, which will be straight down, all the way down on the design. So the next thing we're going to cut now is our sleeve. So in order to cut out the sleeve, I'll be measuring the arm hole circumference. I believe you guys can see that. So I'm just going to measure it round. So here I have 14 three quarter. I have 14 three quarter. So now in order to fold my fabric to cut out my sleeve, I want you guys to pay attention here as well. That's, it is very important. So I fold this into four places so that I'll be able to cut out two sleeves at a time. You can see that. So I'm, I'm I'm choking the wrong side of the fabric while this is the uh, uh, while the the right side is the one inside. So remember our arm o circumference is 14 three quarter right. So in order to cut in order to fold that I'm going to subtract 14 minus two inches which is going to be 12 three quarter. So I will be using. I'll subtract three inches from that so i'll be using i'll be folding the fabric itself by 12 three quarter that's 14 three quarter minus two inches right so 12 three quarter is what i'll be folding this fabric with i believe you guys can see that so i fold my sleeve fabric at 12 three quarter so i'm just going to iron it and balance it so after folding it by 12 three quarter as you guys can see I'll make sure it is balanced so i will just iron it so after folding this is folded by 12 three quarter now the arm hole itself i'm going to the arm the the, the sleeve depth which is the arm hole depth is going to be six inches depth you guys can see that and i'm going to make my cuff arm o cuff just like this you guys can see that so if you measure that side from that dead part and you measure it all the way to this side to this side you're going to have your 14 three quarter you can see that so if you put this inside your bodice arm o it's going to be you can see we have 14 three quarter there at that place so if you put it inside of your bodice it's going to accurately fit in so that's the simple way to measure your arm o circumference on your sleeve and also on your bodice just measure it you can see that so you can see what we have 14 three quarter so you can just simply key in this inside of your side of your bodice so you see what we have so the next thing now is the length because it's going to be a three quarter sleeve as well so the sleeve is 12 inches so from my mark there from where i started my chalk i'll be measuring 12 inches for my sleeve which is three quarter if you want short you can go for short if you want long you can go for long on this one also so i'll just mark my 12 inches you can see that so i'm going to simply connect this together you can see that so now depending on 
uh, the, the, depending if you want to pipe your um, sleeve you can simply pipe it but I want to do a turn up on the sleeve right here so the turn up I'll be doing on this sleeve also is going to be four inches because it has to be bogus as well and be thick so I'll be using four inches for that also so I'm just going to mark my four inches you guys can see that and I'm going to mark four inches here also so the the wideness of the um of the arm so the wideness of the arm so i'm going to connect this one together as well as you guys can see it's going to connect it so that is my external that's my turn up on the sleeve like my um so my arm circumference is going to be a total of 17 that's um 17 inches divided by 2 which will give us 8.5 so i'm going to mark because it has to be big the arm has to be big that's why i mark my 17 inches there you can see that so now i'm going to connect my arm or my sleeve you can see that's my sleeve curve now i want you guys to pay attention here after connecting my sleeve i'm going to measure here which is four inches and here which is four inches you can see that so now i'm going to measure the height of that side which is giving me 10 three quarter no so now here i'm going to in the front of the turn up i'm going to measure the 10 three quarter here you can see that after marking that i'll simply make a curve at this side also i believe you guys see that so if i cut this out and i do a turn up my sleeve will be accurate even my um turn up on the sleeve is going to be aligned so let me show you what that side is going to look like can see that you can see that so when i turn this backward you can see that the sleeve is aligned you can see what the sleeve looks like like that looking exactly like that so this is the process of cutting out the sleeve uh, a, a trick a chicota sleeve so this is the process of cutting it out so we are done with our border is our sleeve the next thing i'll be cutting now is going to be the the band on the m which is the external four inches before so in order to cut out that what i'll be doing now is you know i'll be joining the side of the outfit by two inches so i'm going to subtract two inches from that side So I'm just going to mark the inches. So here I'll be working with 11 inches. So now 11 inches in four places. That's what, that will be the band I'm going to cut. That's 11 in four places. That's what I will be cutting as my band, as the piping on the band side. So here I'm just going to fold this back. So let me cut out the band. So in order to cut out the band as you can see the band is going to be folded by four inches upward just like this as you guys can see so now i will be in our 11 inches in four places right 11 in four places multiplied by four that will be 11 11 times four which will give us 44 right 44 so here now i'm just going to place this it's supposed to be 22 right so i have an extra 30 inches at the excess just in case that's just for just case. so i have 23 here now so i'm just going to fold this so the band is going to be a total of four inches as you guys can see so i'm going to measure i'll be adding an extra half of an inch because i'll be joining half of an inch with the bodice itself so i'll be doing 4.5 so i'm folding 4.5 at this side now so here 4.5 and i will simply iron it down and also this side make sure you get an accurate 4.5 you can see that get an accurate 4.5 inches So as you guys can see, I have 4.5. So I'll simply cut it out. You 
can see what we have so far so I'm just going to cut the side also out so that is for our band so this is what the band is going to look like you can see that so you can simply attach it under our bodice after joining the whole bodice itself you can see that so here we have our bodice you can see we have our sleeve that's our sleeve and we have our piping on the down which is our our band so that is the full cutting so the next thing we are going to cut now it's going to have a zip on this on the shoulder which which is not like a placket and it has a design on the front and a back yoke as well so the next thing i'll be cutting now is going to be the back yoke so let me cut that out so in order to cut out the back yoke i already i already fold the fabric so i'm just going to place this on top of it depending on the depth in which you want how deep you want this uh, the back to be the back yoke to be so i'm just going to trim out my uh that's my back you can see that so here i'm going to have seven inches and i'm still going to trim out that edge i'm still going to fold that edge and trim it out so i'll simply cut it out you guys can see that you can see that so we are done with the cutting so far so we have our back yoke so that is all about cutting a baggy senator step by step if you like the video give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you're yet to subscribe i'll see you guys on another video or if you want to watch another video they will be on the screen here so just click on any video and watch